Welcome everybody, Doug Scockle here, Skill Development Coach at Johnson County Community College in Overland Park, Kansas. We've had quite an email response to our recent shooting videos and it spawned a lot of questions and requests from coaches. In fact, this video is a result of an email that I received this morning from a coach. We have dealt with hand placement on the basketball, but he wanted to know what about finger placement. And he posed these three possibilities, and, and, I've, and I've heard this debate before. I'm going to move closer here so we can take a look at the basketball. So finger placement, we're talking about one possibility is having your index finger in line with that valve stem and then dropping it down into the channel uh, below it, or taking the middle finger in line with that valve stem, dropping it down into the channel, or taking the index and middle finger and splitting the difference and dropping them down into the channel. All right. So before we go any further, I, I want to issue a warning. Uh, I, I, I want us to be real careful about going down that slippery slope that can lead to paralysis from analysis. You know, we want basketball players, not basketball thinkers. And I think we can overdo this a little bit sometimes. And I think this might be, in my opinion, uh, one of those areas. I mean, if you, if you take a look at this, we're talking about moving the, you know, moving our fingers a half an inch to maybe an inch at the most. So I think that uh, rather than concerning myself about where those fingers are going to be. Uh, uh, place and everything. What I would like to do is if, if, if I've got a player, I'm going to get Charlie Wallace's cube here again, but if, if I've got a, a player that has the, his, his, his shooting hand underneath the basketball, okay, so I get rid of this, my hand's underneath there, and I have all my alignment uh, apparatus uh, in line in this little elevator shaft that we talked about in some of those previous videos and everything, I think my fingers are going to be right where they need to be. I don't think I need to worry about where the, you know where they line up. I mean, we certainly aren't going to have a, a situation where we get everything aligned and then try to you know try to turn. I can't can't go very far that way anywhere. Get my fingers you go in that direction. All right. So I think that if if we do that, I think the fingers are going to be you know in a pretty good shape. So it's the same thing when I you know again I put the the hand under the basketball and I remove it. I'm going to be in this position right here. Um, I also uh, think that. Uh, uh, you know, one of the ways, uh, imagine I'm walking down a, a, the street with exaggerated hand motions, all of a sudden I, sh I come right up to there and I'll place a basketball in my hand and I'm ready to shoot the ball. So, I will say this, nonetheless having issued this warning, there is a simple drill to uh, help you find your best finger uh, placement if you feel indeed that is important. All right, and it's called, the, I call it the crisscross drill. All right, so I'm going to step up closer again. And I call it the crisscross drill because we've got the channels of the basketball right here, and they crisscross, okay, and they form a, a cross or a plus sign right into here. All right, and so here's what I'm going to do if I want to check to see if one hand position is indeed, or finger position is better than the other. I can start by placing my index finger right here at the crisscross, right where they cross, okay? And then I'm going to shoot the basketball, and what I'm going to pay attention to is this line, this line right here. So as the ball rotates away, all right, I'm trying to see if that ball, if that line is pretty straight, or if you see it that it's wiggly, it kind of wiggles back and forth, all right? So I'm going to shoot six, seven, eight shots with my index finger in this position right here. Then I'm going to put my middle finger in the crisscross right there. I'll shoot the ball and again I'm checking uh, to see how wiggly or straight you know this line is, this vertical line is going right there. And then the third thing I would do is I would place both fingers on each side, either the side of the crisscross. And again I'm shooting the ball and I'm watching this this vertical line right here as the ball travels away from me. And what you may find is that indeed one uh, finger placement may work out better than another. All right? But again, I think, uh, uh, you know, I, I think this is something that can be overdone uh, just a little bit. But that is a way to check. And the only place I'm going to really be checking my fingers, I would think, or have time to do it, would be on the free throw line. Can't imagine, you know, we're coming down the floor and I get the ball and I'm, uh, you know, can con concern myself with uh, how I'm lining up my fingers and everything. I'm way more concerned about getting my hand, elbow, knee, and foot uh, in, a, in an elevator shaft and alignment right there. And if I do that, I know I'm going to have a pretty good uh, shot at the basketball. All right. So again, my approach uh, in conclusion, let me say this. I believe in the KISS approach, K-I-S-S. -S. In this case, it stands for Keep It Simple Shooter. So until next time, this is Doug Scockle.
signing off.